All right, today we're putting in new upgraded motors in the Peg Perigo Polaris Ranger Razor. So first thing you gotta do is, you can see this cap, it's just a clip deal. Stick a flathead screwdriver and pry a couple times till it pops out. Then that will expose the axle, this is the axle. Then you'll take and unscrew this. Um, what will happen is you'll unscrew this and it's just gonna spin on the other side. So get someone on the other side of the axle, take off the cap on the other wheel and have them put a wrench on it to hold it. Then you can take that one nut out. Once that's out, um, just pull the axle out from the side with the nut still on it. Pull it all the way right out. It'll slide right out. Then, um, then you can just pull off the wheel which is that's not supposed to come off right here yet pull off the wheel it'll look like that then you have this cover right here then there's going to be one two three four Phillips head screws this this is like this is i gotta have to tuck that back in there but that normally would not come out and you wiggle it out and there's the motor I've already replaced this one so you see there's one two screws right here unscrew those motor comes out now you see the positive is that blue wire which you would think it'd be the red wire but it's blue and the negative is the red and then this just fits right in that little chamber there tuck it back in uh, put your screws in. Um, so when you get these motors, they look like this. And you got to get the right pin. This particular one or uh, pinion. This gear is 13 teeth, and I got the one with the little set screw. It's a lot easier than trying to get one of these off if you're going to try and get this one off put this in the freezer and then um, take it out of the freezer heat this with a torch and then get a little gear puller to pull it but this is easier you just stick this on here what I did was I went like this and then I used an envelope or something flat to make sure it was the same distance and I slid this little gear on here until it was even so it was the same and then there's a set screw in here. See it? And you put that in that little hole right there where my thumb is. I put in Loctite. And that way it doesn't come unscrewed. Put it on, cranked it tight. And then you just um, hold the motor in place with these two screws. Then do everything exactly opposite of what I just did. Uh, this machine's been pretty heavily upgraded. Got a voltmeter here for the kids. It's got um, an ESC like from a scooter, 24 volt, it's under the seat. I got two 12 volt Mighty Max in here, another two here and two under there. So six running uh, 3S. So triple the amount of uh, drive time as stock. Um, got the forward and reverse switch. I tore out all the old stuff. It's got variable speed pedal. So you can go slow, fast. Anyway, I got some videos on all of that stuff too, so check them out.